All right, so if you want to use the quick start game that I'm using in this video, here's what you got to do. Click the link in the video description. I promise it's not a virus. I'm going to download it right now just to prove to you it's not a virus. So this is the drive link that has the quick start folder. So you're just going to right click on this, hit download right there. It'll zip it up and download it. All right, as you can see here, we finished downloading it. It took about five minutes, it should be fine. It's a lot of files in here, it'll take a little while. Uh, once you have that, just show it in folder. It'll be in your downloads folder. Then just use 7-zip, WinRAR, or whatever you're using to extract files. And here's the directory you're gonna extract the files to. It's going to be in your C drive. This is only for Steam, by the way, I should mention. I have Out of the Park through Steam. It might be a little bit different if you have it directly from the Out of the Park website, but this is through Steam. Uh, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then you'll find your version of Out of the Park. I'm on Out of the Park 21. Then you'll go to Quick Start Games here, and you'll just extract it, hit OK, and that'll extract it to your Quick Start Games folder. Then once this bar on 7-zip is done, that means we're finished. And then once you have that done, you should be able to open out of the park. And then in your main menu, there's a thing called Quick Start Games. Start new Quick Start Game. And then here's all the selection of Quick Start Games you have downloaded. There's some that come stock with out of the park, but all these ones with weird names are the ones you have downloaded. The one called All Time Greats 1.3 is the one I'm using in this video, and it'll be the one linked in the description. So you can just create a game from that, and you'll be able to play with the players I'm playing with in this video. All right, so now we're here inside the Quick Start. In order to start a fantasy draft, Every player by default is a free agent, so all you have to do is go into the game settings, then go to the league settings, and hit the schedule fantasy draft button. If you do that, then there will be a button in MLB here, inaugural draft, and you can start that, and that'll start the fantasy draft. Um, however, if you don't want to do that and kind of want to make the teams yourself, what you can do is go into transactions, and go into free agents here, and you can just go into a player, go to their player editor since you're in commissioner mode. Um, and you can just manually pick what team you want them to be on. So you go to Major League Baseball and you can pick what team you want to play this player into. Um, so by default, the league structure is 30 teams MLB. Kind of this pretty similar structure to real life MLB. It starts in 2019. So all 30 MLB teams and then each team I believe has five minor league affiliates. Um, all the way down to Rookie League. Um, it's pretty easy to edit that league structure. You just hit this edit league structure button. Then that kind of lets you change the schedule right here. That's not the right button actually. Um, here, edit league structure, not edit league schedule. Um, this will let you edit what teams you want in the league, um, their abbreviations, their names, and all that. And then if you want to change the minor league affiliates as well, you can go into that here. Um, so you can be triple A, double A, single A, short season A ball, and then rookie ball. So you can go in and change the names of the affiliates and everything. I think the affiliates are all randomized, so you can change all these names and stuff at your leisure. So one more thing before we can get started with the video. The Quick Start contains 1,500 historical players, and the reason for that is that you want to be able to fill all 30 MLB teams with a full 25-man MLB roster, along with a 25-man AAA roster, all with historical players. Now, obviously, that doesn't cover all the minor league affiliates, so if you want to fill those with fictional players, what you can do is you can go into the League Settings tab, and then go into, say, AA, and you can hit Fill Teams with Fictional Players, and that'll fill all the teams in this AA league with fictional players. Um, they already all have fictional coaches and scouts, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm just talking about the settings the game is on by default really quick. Uh, we're on 1 to 100 scouting ratings, and most importantly, we're on 100% accuracy scouting. Um, you're more than welcome to change this to whatever you want, but that's just what I did while making it, and I actually like playing with it as well. Um, so 100% accurate scouting, but you can change that however you want. Uh, as well, we are on very low injuries. It kind of sucks when you're fucking drafting Babe Ruth and, oh no, Babe Ruth had a career-ending injury, so that, that'd be bad. So I turn injuries very low. Um, as well, I lowered batter aging speed and pitcher aging speed. Um, so you should be able to play with all the older players for a little while longer. Uh, and then I also changed talent change randomness way down. Um, uh, I think that with the, you know, the best players in history, they're pretty unlikely to just become like terrible overnight. Um, so that would be kind of unfortunate if you had like Ted Williams just become fucking awful in two seasons. So I didn't want that to happen, so I lowered talent change randomness as well. And then if you're curious as to why X player is in the sim and Y player isn't, I tried to be like sort of objective about who got into the 1500 players I put into the quick start. Um, I added everybody that's ever had a top 5 Cy Young award finish or a top 5 MVP finish, every MVP winner, every Cy Young winner every Rookie of the Year, every World Series MVP. Um, and then after that, I mostly just use like all-time career war leaderboards and like top single season war leaderboards. 
Um, so that was pretty easy to do that for the starters and the position players. The relievers were a little more wonky. Um, but I mostly just put in any reliever that ever had like a statistically notable season and just filled that up, filled it up that way. Uh, in total, we have, I think, 350 starters, 350 relievers, uh, and then like 800 position players uh, that make up the simulation. All right, I filmed this after I finished the draft, so I'm going to cover up my team for now so you can't see it. Um, just to clear up any misconceptions, the lower minors, basically double A and below, are filled with fictional players. Uh, and this is important because there is going to be a normal first-year player draft. So you will draft prospects, and they'll naturally kind of get diffused into the minor league pool as the years go on. Um, and I want a, an environment for those prospects to be able to develop and to have like kind of a full out-of-the-park experience and not just playing with the best players ever. But we'll kind of get to see how out-of-the-park randomly generates prospects to be able to play with those players. So that's kind of why we have fictional players filling out the minors. And that's kind of how uh, the sim will continue even after, you know, 20 years down the line when all the all-time great players have already old and retired. The sim, you'll still be able to play with their game as well. Last thing I promise... After you finish the fantasy draft, I'd probably suggest that you go into the Major League Baseball League settings and hit this Assign Fictional Financials to Teams and Make Fictional Player Contracts button. That'll kind of give more long-term playability to the quick starts, and it'll give more realistic contracts to all the players in the league. All right, without further ado, you should be able to use the quick start however you want to right out of the box like this. Um, there are a few errors I should probably make you aware of. There's some positions like first base where the ratings are kind of fucked up. Um, there's like way too many 80 overalls than I wanted. And there's also some positions like relievers where there's just no 80 overalls. So the overalls are a little broken. Um, as well, some players just don't have the right position. So you look at like Tony Gwynn here, for example. Even though I manually set him to be a right fielder, he's set as a center fielder and that's what his overall is based off of. So there's some small errors like that. There's probably some smaller errors as well that fell through the cracks. Maybe some duplicate players and things like that. So that's definitely on my list to fix in the next version of the quick start. And that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy the video of me fantasy drafting and I'll catch you guys next time. What's up, everybody? I'm really excited to finally get to use my quick start that I've been working on on and off for like a year. Um, it has like 1,500 players. Uh, I spent a while like balancing it, importing all the players. And I mostly use out of the parks like built-in import player tool. Um, but almost all the players have like tweaks made to them to make them kind of interesting from a game design perspective. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to start playing here. Uh, I decided to play as the Pirates for this playthrough. One to be like a nice historical franchise, a lot of a lot of franchise history. So, decided to go with the Pirates, and let's just jump into it. Inaugural draft, what spot am I in? 14th? Right, it's pretty solid. Um, the CP re really likes drafting starting pitchers in the first couple rounds, so we'll see how that plays out a little bit, I guess. Um, we'll just auto-draft until our next pick. And just to show it to you, here's the draft log. Koufax, Kershaw, Martinez, Johnson, Johnson, Seaver. The first position player taken is Mike Schmidt, which I think is kind of funny. Mike Schmidt's great, but he's probably not first position player ever taken material um yeah so here here's the 13 picks ahead of us lots of pitchers you see mike trout willie mays ted williams Honus wagner um so 14th pick yeah this is a very neutral draft position so i guess i just want to go with like a safe kind of option um nicky mantle i i think probably going for like a up the middle guy it's probably the way to go there's a lot of high-end center fielders um in the quick start but there's not a lot of after like the top five or so guys, it drops off pretty quickly. Um, I don't know, I think we just want to take a really solid bat. Uh, we'll definitely, there's definitely enough starters in the quick start to get me a great rotation for sure. Um, so yeah, let's let's go for a solid hitter, hopefully, preferably like a shortstop, a center fielder, or a catcher. Um, Cobb, DiMaggio is definitely an option. Um, I don't know. I, I've never drafted in this, but I, in my testing, I've mostly been either near the start or near the end of the first round, so I've actually never drafted this spot before. I don't really know what the objectively correct pick here is, but can you really go wrong? Like, obviously anybody I take is going to be great. Um, these shortstops, not really piquing my interest too much here in the first round. I think I'd probably go with an outfielder here. Uh, Babe Ruth is pretty tempting. I think he has the best power rating. Um... Griffey is tempting. He has a very good power rating, plus good defense in center. Uh, DiMaggio is like a very balanced hitter. Doesn't play great defense. He has good defense in center, but not great. Um, might be able to do better than that. Mantle is the one I'm kind of leaning towards right now. His defense is not good, but he's probably the best hitter in, uh, over, out of the remaining guys. Um, Ty Cobb doesn't really have the power to really get me going. Um, Yount's another option. The cool thing about Robin Yount is that, let's see, 
he can play both the infield and the outfield, so he's like a very good neutral first pick to take since he can fill in a lot of spots. Uh, but the hitting numbers aren't quite there. I might try to snag him like the second or third round, though. Um, I'll look the slam dunks are kind of off the board right now. I think I'm pro... Musial's another option, actually. I might just go Stan Musial, to be honest. Um, just like, he's one of the best hitters in the quick start, just overall. He's great numbers at everything except I. Um, doesn't play good defense, but I can just stick him in left field, uh, and, and that should be fine. You know, I don't think you can really go wrong with that. I'm taking Stan the man. Maybe the most underrated player in baseball history. Give him to me. All right, let's auto-draft until our next pick here. Let's take a look at what other people have taken. Lots of starters, as I said. Um, I should probably take a starter with this next pick. Uh, Yeah, I'll probably go with the starter here. Starter. All right. Lots of high-end starters still available. Um, Bob Gibson. Probably can't go wrong with him. He'll strike a ton of dudes out with that 99 stuff. Bob Feller, similar. Even better stuff, but worse other stats. Other ratings, rather. Uh, Lefty Gomez is another option. I think overall lefties are probably better. Um, most of, not most, but a good amount of the high end hitters are left handed. So having a, like a left handed centric starting staff should be beneficial. Um, so Gomez is pretty tempting. I think I can probably get either of these guys on the crack back though. I might try another hitter actually. Um, catchers have gone off the board pretty late. Let's see, first baseman. There's a ton of high end first basemen that are all relatively similar. Garrick though is very tempting. He is like a monster at the plate. Um, very balanced hitter. Um, so Garrett could be an option. I'm thinking him, maybe. Uh, maybe also want to take a shortstop. A-Rod went off the board. A-Rod's probably the best overall shortstop, but Yount and Ripken are both very good as well. Uh, I think we should go with another outfielder as well. Outfield in general is, like, very stacked, but there's actually kind of a drop-off after, like, the top 10 or so at every outfield spot. Um, so I could go with a right fielder, try to snag somebody like Roberto Clemente or Reggie Jackson. Um, go with a left fielder. Ricky Henderson's kind of tempting. Ooh, that's kind of spicy. I kind of like that, actually. Just go with, like, a very... I mean, top of the order, Ricky Henderson leading off and Stan Musial hitting second. Like, that's pretty That's pretty stacked. I kind of like that. Um, let's see. Let me make sure I'm not missing any standout picks here, though. Third, George Brett's another option. Um, George Brett has very good hitting numbers. Um, another left-handed bat, though. I already have a lefty. Um, I do want like a kind of balanced lineup between righties and lefties. Second base is another position that goes off the board pretty quickly. Um, outside of these top end second basemen, there's actually not many. Like it drops off pretty quickly after like Lou Whitaker. Um, Eddie Collins could be really, like a leadoff type hitter. He has a good eye. He'll get on base a ton actually. His second base defense is pretty shitty, but Eddie Collins, I kind of like. Another very underrated historical player for sure. Biggie is another option. Biggie shouldn't hit as well as Collins, though, I don't think. Um, Sandberg, yeah. Yeah, I think if I want a second baseman, Collins is probably the way to go. And second base drops off very quickly. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards Collins, actually. So I go with Collins or maybe Gehrig um, with this pick and then take a starter with my next pick. Um, or Henderson. I don't know, I kind of like Ricky Anderson. Add a lot of personality to my team. Uh, but yeah, I'll go Eddie Collins, I think. Yeah, I like this. Top of the order bet. At a position where there's not a lot of top of the order bets. I like it. Alright, let's take a starter. Bob Feller's still on the board. That's pretty clutch. Um, Bob Feller's going to walk a ton of guys. Uh, obviously, with the best players of all time, there's a lot of guys that can take a walk in this quick start. So the low control is kind of a concern. Low movement as well is obviously a ton of home run hitters. Um, but he's just going to strike so many guys out. Like, I got to take Bob Feller, I think. All right, so that's the first arm in our staff there. Uh, I think I probably want to bat here. So we have Eddie Collins will probably lead off. Um, Stan Musial hit in the middle of the order. Um, that is a righty and a lefty, I believe. I think Collins is right-handed. See here, any great first baseman still on the board? Gary's off the board, but I expect a bit. And Votto is kind of interesting, high on base type guy. They look like Johnny Mize, another balanced hitter. Most of these first basemen have like really awful defense, so I'm not really concerned since it is first base. Uh, Frank Thomas is an option, I guess. He will absolutely destroy lefties, but his hitting stats on the whole against righties are good, not great. 
Um, let's see. Let's see the outfield. Is there available still? Chuck Klein. Yeah, right field is kind of dwindling in available hitters. Let's see. Let's see any left fielders I can grab? Yeah, Henderson's off the board, but I definitely expected that. Tim Raines is kind of similar to Ricky Henderson, just a worse hitter probably. Probably worse on defense too. Um, yeah, so outfield is kind of thinning out. You can see like all like the really all time great outfielders already off the board. Uh, let me try. I can probably take a center fielder and try to put him into a different spot. Um, let me see if Eicher is on the board. Hang on. That'd be kind of hype. Ichiro is still on the board, and he's one of these players I mentioned that have the wrong position. He should be a right fielder, not a center fielder. Would it be worth maybe having Ichiro lead off and then Collins hit two, and then maybe Musial hit and clean up? We should probably look into that. I don't know. So what I'm kind of looking at with this draft so far is that both Collins and Ichiro are very high contact type guys, and those are a lot harder to come by as opposed to you know, if you go into, like, all, all the remaining batters, all, almost all, okay, Cochran's not, but almost all these guys are, like, big power hitters. Like, power is not that hard to come by among the greatest players of all time, but, like, elite contact is probably going to be harder to come by. So I think I probably want to target some of that. Like, yeah, most of these first basemen are all power hitters. Um, So I could go Ichiro. Alternatively, I could take Wade Boggs to play third, and third's another position that kind of dwindles off pretty quickly. Um, yeah, so a lot of the top and third baseman are already off the board. Um, if I go, couldn't get Boggs, I'd maybe try to get Brooks Robinson on the correct back. Um, Robinson's more of a defense-focused third baseman. Boggs is, like, serviceable on defense. They'll get on base a good amount. He'll hit for average. I kind of like the Boggs pick. Um, I actually might be able to grab Boggs next round, though, which is kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I might just want to go into the starter here, actually. I took Bob Feller. I kind of want a lefty to balance that out. And Gidry is kind of speaking to me. Gidry has the stuff. Um, and like past Gidry and Pete Alexander, but I'm not really in love with Pete Alexander. He's more of like a finesse control type pitcher, which I don't think is going to work out super well in the quick start. Um, yeah, past Gidry, just pretty steep drop off to the next tier of pitchers with like Blylevin and Sabathia and Valenzuela. Um, so I'll probably go Gidry here. Now let's hope for Wade Boggs here on the crack back. That that's that's the draft plan. All right, we got him. Let me just make sure I'm not passing up any other great opportunities here. There's still a good amount of catchers on the board. I'm not worried about that. Uh, first baseman again, super plentiful. I'm not worried about first base at all. Uh, it's mostly the outfield. I guess I'm a little worried about. Um. Yeah, outfield is getting a little light on the real top end bats. But yeah, I'm gonna go with Wade Boggs here. So I have I have players for second and third, which are two positions that are not represented as well. Um, so I have pretty solid hitters at both those spots. I'm pretty excited for that. And I have a good rotation as well. Um, let's see. What are, what are my needs right now? I could use a shortstop for sure. Jeter, kind of an interesting option. He'll hit for average, but I don't think he'll do much else. His defense is pretty bad. Uh, Larkin is kind of interesting. Vaughn is kind of interesting. Um, yeah, both these guys will play like above average defense. They'll probably be like around average at the plate. Larkin can run. Vaughn cannot run. Um, so I probably want to grab a shortstop before all these guys get knocked off the board. Let's see what else. I needed another outfielder. Like a power hitting outfielder would be pretty clutch. Chuck Klein definitely fits that bill. It isn't playing defense, and I'm in the National League, so there's no DH. Um, let's see. So I need a center fielder and a right fielder. Center fielders are already kind of off the board. I, I'm probably going to throw center field a little bit. Uh, maybe grab somebody further down the line, like a, several rounds down the line. That's probably not going to be very good. Just maybe get like a defense for a center fielder. Oh, Ichiro is still on the board. Now nah, let's take Ichiro. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, give me Ichiro. Hell yeah. All right. That's nice. All right, so Ichiro to play center. Musial on left. Boggs and Collins. The top of this order is 
very, very contact heavy. I need like a big power hitter to drive these guys in, or like a doubles type hitter. Um, I can probably find one of those at either right or first. Let's see. In terms of top end first baseman, Johnny Mize is still on the board. Yeah, he'll hit for sure. Giambi, will he hit better than Mize? Probably not. Um, I just have like Bagwell, who will mash lefties. Not great against righties though. Ted Klazuski. Freddie Freeman, another potential option here. Kind of a platoon bat though, I think. Yeah, he's not good against lefties. I might just throw Johnny Mize here. I have a good amount of lefties in the order already, so adding... Oh, Johnny Mize is a lefty. Okay, I don't know why I thought it was right-handed. Um, Giambi's also a lefty. Let's see. I don't need right-handed first baseman here. Not really, outside of Bagwell. But Bagwell has, like, really drastic splits. Edgar Martinez could be an option. I think I could probably grab Martinez further down the line. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can... I'll target Edgar Martinez for, like, a couple rounds later. I think I get a catcher right now. Pudge is still available. Another contact bet. I don't know. I don't know if I want too many, like, more singles slappy hitters. And Pudge is not a slappy hitter. But for the purposes of this quick, quick start, he's a slappy hitter compared to everybody else available. Um, Ted Simmons could be an option. His defense isn't great, I don't think. Yeah. Could just go for another starter here. I already have four people in the order. And yeah, Hal Newhauser could be a good pickup. I could probably grab him in a later round, too. Let's see. Anyone just taking any relievers yet? That could be kind of spicy. I think Mariano Rivera is already off the board. But other than that, we still have Wagner, Jansen, Kimmel. A lot of top-end relievers still available as well. I don't know. I might want to kind of punt relief pitching. I don't think it'll be all that important if I just draft a bunch of good starters. So if I want to draft a bunch of good starters, I could target Hal Newhauser for next round and just take a good first baseman now. Probably Johnny Mize. I kind of like that. Johnny Mize will probably hit four or five. I'll drive in a good amount of runs. He doesn't really need to get on base a ton. He probably won't get on base a ton. She needs to drive our slappy hitters to the top of the order in. I will take Johnny Mize. I like this pick. All right, let's see if Hal Newhauser is still around. He is. Is Valenzuela better, though? Valenzuela is pretty bad at control and not great movement. How is Newhauser's better? All right, so he's... Sacrificing some strikeout stuff to be a more balanced pitcher, which I think I'm okay with. I will take Hal Newhauser. All right. So I've got three starters and five guys in the order. Do you want to grab a reliever here? Billy Wagner available, and honestly, I think having Billy Wagner will be really useful. Left-handed huge strikeout reliever. But is it worth throwing a pick right now on? I need a shortstop, a right fielder, and a catcher in the lineup. Let's see what catchers are available. Pudge is still available. I don't know, man. If Pudge is getting this far, maybe I just grab him. Let's see. There's these catchers like Molina, Posey. These guys are kind of fine. I will be able to get a catcher kind of much later in the draft as just like a good defender. I could just get like his money run tall or something. It's just good on defense. And he won't hit, but I don't really need them to hit. He's my catcher. Uh, Fisk could be an option. Yeah, I might just actually throw catcher. Because like even the highest rated catchers here, like Pudge is going to hit for a good average. And he won't strike out a ton, but overall his numbers aren't going to be great, I don't think. Um... See, so short stops. Archie Vaughn is still available. So we lost Larkin. I definitely want defense out of my shortstop, and Vaughn will provide that. Um, The guy like Hanley or Nomar is not going to play great defense. I don't think I'm really that interested in. Nomar will be a better hitter than Vaughn, though, probably. Let's see. I could just try to grab Ozzie Smith way later in the draft, hit him way down in the order. See, Ozzy Smith's player profile is actually really good for, like, the ninth. Oh, I guess I have a don't have a DH, so I can't really hit him ninth. I could hit the pitcher eighth, I guess. So it's kind of getting a little too cutesy. Um, yeah, I'll probably not be taking Ozzy, even though he's, I think, the best defender in the game. Uh, yeah, let's go Vaughn, probably, if I want to take a shortstop this round. Let me make sure I'm not missing, like, a right fielder, though. Chuck Klein's still on the board, man. Whew, it's hard to pass up on. I have a lot of lefties, though, is the issue. I get Mookie Betts. 
Sosa's a righty, but I don't like his K's being this bad. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to go with an outfield. Klein is such a good hitter, though. This just a defensive shitty, and I already have a bunch of left fielders. I'm just going to the starter here. I already have Newhauser, Gidry, and Feller. It's a pretty solid top of the rotation. Could probably take a couple, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll take a short stuff. I'll take Arky Vaughn. Arky Vaughn, probably in contention for the most underrated player in baseball history. This dude's numbers are insane for his career, but nobody, like, ever brings him up. Not the point, though. Um, so I got him in the ninth round. So here in the tenth round, I might just want to grab a starter. Valenzuela is still on the board, man. And he's young, too. Um... I don't know. Vita Blue and Fran of Valenzuela are pretty similar, and I could probably grab Vita a couple rounds later than Valenzuela. Um, let's see. I still need a right fielder. Chuck Klein is still available. I can take a center fielder or a left fielder and just convert them to right as well, though. Um... I don't know, I like Paul Blair will be nuts defense and center. They can keep each other on the right. That'll be like optimal defensive alignment. I don't know if it's that great though. Dale Murphy will be solid. Um, Brian Giles is another option. Yeah, Brian Giles has really good hitting ratings, especially against righties. Not a left-handed bat though. I kind of want a righty or two to round out the order. I'll probably get that catcher though. And yeah, there's so many catchers still available. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a risk and just keep throwing on catcher until at least Pudge gets taken off the board. Um, so I guess you want to grab a starter here, then. I don't know. Maybe I want more of a control-type pitcher, actually. Mordecai Three Finger Brown is kind of tempting me. I'll be honest. If nothing else, just for having the best nickname in baseball history. But, yeah, I don't know. None of these, star none of these stars are really speaking to me. One Marischal could be really solid, but I could probably grab him down draft, too. Um... Maybe I should take a catcher here. But I don't want Pudge, though, is the issue. Like, I want... I guess he is a righty. I want, like, kind of a more on base type power-hitting righty. Buster Posey is more of a balanced type. He plays good defense, too, though. I kind of really like Buster Posey, actually. I could get him next... I could probably get him next round, though. Um, so in that case, is Billy Wagner still on the board? Oh, give me Billy Wagner. Okay. That's good. I like having Billy Wagner. That is a left-handed bullpen arm. That is going to be really helpful for the rest of the draft. That also lets me kind of throw the rest of for bullpen at least a couple more rounds. Um, so that'll, that'll definitely be helpful. All right, so I still need a right fielder. I still need a catcher. Pudge is still on the board, so I'm not going to take Posey. I still need a right fielder. And Chuck Klein is still there, man. The game really wants me to take Chuck Klein. I might just do it. Yeah, he's not going to get on base a ton, but... Yeah, honestly, his splits are fine. Honestly, is, is he even reverse splits, actually? Not really. No, his contact is good. This is a good amount worse. Um, yeah, I'll take Chuck Line. It's a good right fielder. All right. So every spot in the order is filled except catcher, and I have three starters in a reliever. Let's see. All right. Oh, I didn't get Posey. That sucks, man. All right, darn it. Yachty is kind of similar to Posey. They're both righties that have really good defense. Um... Yeah, I guess I should have Yachty here. Ted Simmons could be an option, but I don't like his defense, though. I think I definitely want good defense out of my catcher. Or old baddie, also not great defensively. I like Harlan Fisk. I might like Harlan Fisk better than Yachty, honestly, even though his overall is way lower. He'll definitely be a worse hitter. I guess he'll be worse on defense, too. I guess what I'm trying to say is I actually just don't like Yachty or Molina as a person, so I probably don't really want him on my team. But I think, objectively, probably this is the correct pick, so I'll take Yachty. All right. Lineup's full. We have everybody. All right. So I just need to fill two more rotation spots and then my bullpen. And then a bench as well. Ben Zobrist got taken off the board. Darn. I want a Ben Zobrist on my team. Ben Zobrist is one of the guys I kind of always want on my team, no matter what the team is. Um, all right. So we want to grab a starter here. Fourth starter. We kind of want like an innings eater type. Big stamina. Don Newcomb definitely fits that bill. Also hits well. Not... Not unimportant since I am a National League team. I kind of do like a Don Newcomb pick. 
Mordecai three finger Brown's calling to me, but that low straight cuts number is just really concerning. He only throws three pitches too. He will eat innings. Probably an ideal like fourth or fifth starter. He's a righty, right? Yeah. Am I missing any relievers? I guess Kimbrel's still on the board. That could be like super deadly with Kimbrel and Wagner at the back end of the bullpen. Let's see. I think I want to start out this round though, almost for sure. If I can get like, yeah, if I take like Don Newcomb here, then I can try to get like one of these down, like Fergie Jenkins, John Lackey, Mike Nusina. If I can get like one of those guys as my five star, then I have like a great rotation. So I'm not super concerned about that. Um, so maybe just take Newcomb here. I, I like that pick a lot. Then I try to grab like Marischal maybe as my fifth starter. Seems good to me. Both Nuclear and Marischal are going to give up a ton of home runs, but I don't think I'm super concerned. I think almost every pitcher is going to give up a ton of home runs, so I'll just take Marischal here. There we go. My rotation's done. It is a really fucking good rotation. It's Feller, Gidry, Marischal. I already fucking forgot it. It's good, though. Feller, Gidry, Marischal. I can just go to the draft log and look. Um, let's see. I took Billy Wagner is a reliever. You know, I'm just going to have an overlay that tells you guys what I have, so I don't have to keep fucking rehashing it for you. I'll have an overlay that tells you my current team. All right. Um, so I need relievers. I need bench pieces. Uh, good relievers are kind of coming off the board quick. Brian Harvey? Ooh. You know, honestly, gun to my head, don't think I could tell you who Brian Harvey is. Um, but God, his stuff is really fucking good. He will strike guys out, and that's really all you need from your relievers, I think. I'm going to play a pretty sabermetric style bullpen while we bring guys in based on like, you know, it's fucking, I can't talk, I'm sorry. It's going to be, I'm not going to have like set closers and set setup guys and everything. I'm probably just going to bring guys in based on leverage. So striking guys out is basically all this guy needs to do. So I kind of like that. Is Batanz better though? No, nah, Batanz is the worst stuff. All right, I'll take Brian Harvey. So we have two back end bullpen pieces. That is, that is a good step. All right. We're looking for a bench bet, I think. Let's see. Mookie Betts is still on the board, man. He can play all three outfield spots. He can probably play second, too, honestly. Yeah, dude. I might just take Mookie Betts. That's a fucking good fourth outfielder to have Mookie Betts, man. Yeah, give me him. All right. Let's see. So we have a fourth outfield type bench bet. I kind of want a backup catcher, but I can get a backup catcher way later in the draft. That's not super concerning. Um, then I want, like, a power-hitting backup first baseman type. Edgar Martinez is still on the board. Damn, what the fuck am I doing? Give me Edgar Martinez. Hell yeah. All right. Dude, my bench is going to be fucking crazy. All right. I want to... Oh, Mordecai Brown's still on the board. Man, what are these bots doing, dude? I'm, I'm out-drafting these computers at every turn of the game. All right, they're falling right into my hands. Mordecai Three Finger Brand will be like a six, will be like a swing man type guy. Um, he'll eat innings. If like our starters have a bad out, and he can just toss him in. He'll throw like seven innings in relief and just like destroy his arm. I'm okay with that. All right. So we have our six starter, two back and bullpen pieces, backup first baseman, fourth outfielder. So I want like a utility infield type as well. Um, see what shortstops are on the board. I can convert basically any of these shortstops into utility infielders. Um, so like PB Reese. Reese is not going to get get it done with his hitting. Ozzy Smith is still on the board. Um, he has fucking crazy defense, but I don't need like defensive subs. That's something that actually that's kind of important. Is there anywhere where I want a defensive sub? Maybe first base. Um, Don Mattingly will be good at first. I wonder if like What's his name? Keith Hernandez is still on the board. Doesn't look like it. Um, okay, so let's, let's look at like second baseman and shortstops. Pete Rose. That is a good option. He's not, not good defensively, but that's a good bench bat to have. I'll look into that later, maybe. DJ LeMayhew. Um, that could be a good pickup. Basically a platoon bat, though. Maybe not great against righties. Yeah, let's see. I could try to just take a shortstop and convert him into a utility infielder, which I think would be okay. 
like Lindor. Lindor has good enough hitting numbers, good enough defense where he'll just be insane at whatever infield spot he plays. Can't play the outfield, but that's fine. Yeah, I could just, I'm pretty happy just taking Francisco Lindor and making him a utility infielder. It seems good to me. Give me that. All right. Let's see. If I want to grab another bullpen piece here. Um, preferably a lefty. I think lefties are a little more important to have than normal. I could also alternatively just take a starter and make him a reliever. Like, hey, look, it's Vital Blue. He strikes a ton of guys out. Vital Blue, you're you're on the team. Nice job. I you're my maybe not lefty specialist, but he'll be like a left-handed middle reliever type. Okay, um, I can just do that again with another starter. Like Fergie Jenkins will be a good reliever. He'll eat a ton of innings out of the bullpen. I actually kind of love that. Yeah. And this will let me hedge against fucking injuries as well, which will kind of be a concern with my starters. Um, Alright, so we have basically six relievers, I guess. If we're saying that we're just going to go with like the standard five-man rotation. Um, and then we have... Oh, hang on, why is... Oh, sorry, it's just the... Alright. Okay, so we have... I was looking at the wrong team. <laughs> How, how sad is that that I couldn't even realize until just now that I was looking at the wrong team. Um, all right, so we have a backup first baseman. We have a utility infielder with Francisco Lindor. We have a fourth outfielder with Mickey Betts. Um, we have three extra starters that we're going to put in the bullpen and then two relievers. Let's see. I guess I just want to grab a backup catcher now. Then if Carlton Fisk is still on the board, I'll grab him. He is not. Charlie Bennett. Good defensively. He'll take some walks with some doubles, you know? It seems like good enough for a defense for a backup catcher. I wouldn't mind Russell Martin or his Monte Grandal either though. Um yeah, I'll just go Charlie Bennett. I'll just go strictly off the ratings. Alright, sure. There's our backup catcher. So three more spots in the major league roster. I guess I'll we'll just go to relievers. Um I guess I want a left handed reliever here. Zach Britton. He definitely fills a role. Um, you know, ground ball, left-handed movement focused reliever. Seems good to me, yeah. But I guess that's a role I don't really have. It'll be like a lefty specialist, probably. Yeah, good splits against lefties. I'll take Zach Britton for the pen. All right. So we have 11 pitchers and 12 hitters right now. Let's see, how many bench bats do I have? I have four bench bats, which is, I guess, all I really need. I guess I want one more, though. Um, let's just see, who is, like, the best hitter available right now? Sammy Sosa. <laughs> okay. I don't know why right fielders are, like, going off the board so late. Um, yeah, I guess if Mookie Betts is our more defensively inclined fourth outfielder, we can just get, like, a power hitting another outfielder. Sammy Sosa will play the corners pretty well. Yeah, I'll take Sammy Sosa. All right, cool. Um, then I need to fill one more pitcher slot. Let's see what starters are available. Bill Hutchinson. Pretty low movement. Hideo Nomo could be a good option. But he's Hideo Nomo would definitely be in the pen. That that is a reliever profile. Um, Dennis Martinez could be an option. I guess I want like oh, yeah, good movement, good control. We already have that with Mordecai Brown, though, so I guess I don't need another type of pitcher in my pen. Let's see, Gary Lavelle. It's a good balanced reliever. Yeah. Let me just grab this guy to be low. Do I want the quiz, though? Oh, I love Dan Quisenberry, man. Whew, that's tempting. I think I'll probably just take him because I like him so much. He's like the last piece of my bullpen. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right. So that's 25. That's my major league roster. Um... So I guess I just need to draft for my minor league team. This is going to be a lot more boring, so I'll just go through this faster, I guess. Um, I need a rotation, so I'll just get, like... I like Dennis Martinez as that one. I'll just get him to be kind of, like, the first starter I pull up from the minor league roster. Um, I, I'll just take, like, the best available hitter at most uh, most times, probably. So, like, Harmon Killebrew, sure. Um, Andres Galarraga. I guess I already have a first baseman. I kind of want, like, good spread... Um, in this minor league team, Luis Gonzalez is a good option. Yeah, he'll he'll hit. Take Luis Gonzalez. David Ortiz. This 
This game does not like David Ortiz a ton. I guess he just went off the board, but that was in the 26th round. So I guess the game just did not like David Ortiz, but I don't know. All right, I want another catcher as well. Oh, look at all the catchers that just went off the board. Jesus Christ. I want a catcher for the minor league team. Preferably two, actually. Um, yeah, let's go like Hal Smith. Sure. He'll be my catcher. Let's see. Mickey Welch? He's a starter. Yeah, he'll be like a starter slash reliever I can pull off the minor league team. Um, that's 30. Probably just going to auto-draft the rest, to be honest. I think that's about all I need. So yeah, well, let's auto-draft and see what our team comes out to be. All right. I think this team turned out pretty well. My lineup seems really insane. I have really great rotation. Um, it's going to be kind of dependent on how well these contact hitters stop my order do. Uh, sure, you can set up my team by default. Let's see. Okay. So we have fictional players all through double A. And then let's move these guys down. I want my actual players up at the triple A team. Um, basically anybody that's not a 2020, a 20 potential 20 overall is probably a historical player, although that's not guaranteed. I think Kevin Gregg is a real person. Yeah. Um all right. So let's take a look at our major league roster here. Edgar Martinez designated for assignment. No, I want Edgar Martinez on my team. Get fucking Frey Lindstrom out of here. Yeah, Edgar Martinez, you're on the major league team. All right. All right, here's our lineup. I need to set it up, actually. Um, I think I want Ichiro hitting leadoff. I mean, I want Collins hitting leadoff, actually. He... I don't want him hitting two. He doesn't have any power to hit second. So I guess we have Collins leadoff. I don't really want Ichiro hitting second either. Um, Ichiro is going to be playing center, though. Let's see. God, we have a lot of lefties. I probably should have planned this out better, actually. Fuck. Alright, I want Musial hitting cleanup. We could just have Edgar Martinez start, actually. Oh, but we can't take Johnny Mize out of the order, though. Yeah, I should have planned my lefty-righty split better. I even said it like in my head, like, oh, I should probably not draft all lefties, and I just went and drafted all lefties, so I guess I'm just an idiot. Um, unfortunately, Ichiro's probably to hit more at the bottom of the order. I can have Wade Boggs hit second. Um, yeah, I need a fucking... I need a righty at the top of the order to break all the lefties up, though. So I have, like, Musial and Mize in the middle, which I like. I don't like Mookie Betts hitting this high, though. I don't really know if I even want Mookie Betts starting. Um, we could have Sammy Sosa hit in the three spot. I don't hate. He's just gonna strike out so much, though. Three spot, though, you're, like, okay with striking out a bunch, though, right? Because he's hitting, like, near the end of most innings. So, yeah, I'm okay with my three hitter striking out a ton. We'll have Sammy Sosa hit third. The Musial Mize. We'll have Vaughn hit sixth. You know, I could get cute with it and have Ichiro hit ninth and have my pitcher hit eighth. I kind of like it, to be honest. Um... I don't know, the question, the question really is whether I want each row or Eddie Collins hitting leadoff. I, mean, I just like that Collins has a lot better discipline, he'll draw a lot more walks. Um, so yeah, I guess I like this order. Collins, Boggs, Sosa, Musial, Mize, Vaughn, Molina, Ichiro. Are we platooning any of them? Um, could we platoon Mize and Edgar Martinez? Actually, that seems almost definitely will be correct, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah, not even a question. We'll platoon Mize and Martinez, and they'll definitely break up the left-right split a good amount. So we'll have Measle hitting cleanup. Um, we want Sosa and right. We could have Mookie playing. Mm, we could have Measle to first, or right, and then have get somebody else get Mookie bats in the order somehow. Probably not. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll move Ichiro down to 9 again. Oh, we just took him out of the order. Ichiro down to 9 in center. We'll have Collins hit, set, hit first, hit Lenny second. Um, move Boggs up to second. There we go, then. Sosa. Oh, fuck, dude. Maybe I actually have Edgar hitting third. Yeah, I think Sosa, yeah, well, Sosa hit fifth. 
Um, and then Vaughn 6, Molina 7. You have full left-right fucking alternation, which is good. Alternation is not a word. I don't know why I just said that. All right. See, so yeah, I don't like my lefty-righty split. That was a mistake in drafting, but yeah, I'll, I'll figure something out for that. I'll generate depth charts. All right, so my backups. Right now we have Edgar Martinez as the backup third baseman. I'll probably want Lindor to be the backup third second. Backup third baseman and second baseman. So we'll, we'll convert. We'll take the spring training use to convert Francisco Lindor into a utility type guy. All right, pitching staff. Right, who are my starters? Feller, Gidry, Newhauser, Mordecai Brown, and Juan Marichal. I'm going to move. Who, I had somebody I want to make a full time starter. Uh, did he get put into the minors? Oh, he did. Yeah, I want Newcomb to be a starter. All right. So yeah, we'll have Newcomb in the rotation instead of Mordecai Brown. Um, let's see, and then Fergie Jenkins will be on relief. Fido Blue will be in relief. Mickey Welch, Zach Britton, Dan Quisenberry. We'll make this guy a specialist as a secondary. Zach Britton. All right, I'm hyped to have Dan Quisenberry on the team. All right, so I'm gonna make Mordecai Brown a long reliever slash middle reliever. All right, nobody's got an open four in this rotation. The rotation is Bob Feller. Oh, let's take a look at our team on the screen. Our lineup, Eddie Collins, Wade Boggs, Sammy Sosa, Stan Musial, Johnny Mize, Arky Vaughn, Yadier Molina, Ichiro Suzuki. Rotation, Bob Feller, Ron Guidry, Hal Newhauser, Don Newcomb, Juan Marichal. Then our bullpen, headlined by Billy Wagner, Brian Harvey, and Vita Blue, and Dan Quisenberry. All right, hype. Um, I'm probably gonna end this video here just with the draft. Uh, but if you guys make sure to sub to the channel, I'll be playing out a few seasons with this team. We'll see after the first season, usually there's some like crazy free agent stuff going on, so we'll get to see that. We'll get to see like the whole playoffs. Um, hopefully, we'll play a few seasons with this uh, save, and I'm pretty excited to play with it. It's been a lot of fun to draft, it's been a lot of fun to play with the data set. Um, and again, start of the video, had the tutorial to you know download the data set for yourself uh, and play around with it however you please. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.